everyone, my name is Yuna Biagioni and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how I made this mixed media portrait called Transparent Light. I've applied a layer of gesso to the page and now I'm starting with my background colors. I'm using craft acrylic paint in periwinkle blue and white. I chose craft paint because I want to work with color pencils on top of it and the craft paint provides a nice gritty surface for the color pencils. When the background is dry, I start sketching out the head. I've decided to paint a profile portrait and I'm working with a reference photo. I'm using a white pastel pencil for my sketch because when I later paint over it, the colors don't get muddy right away. Now it's time for painting again. I used the same periwinkle blue paint as I used for the background, but now with a little white added. And then I start blocking in the face with a flesh color, but I find it a bit too opaque, so I use a baby wipe to spread out the paint and wipe away a big part of it. When the paint is dry, I take my pastel pencil to work on the features and the contour of the face. I also use a violet pastel pencil to add in some of the darker values. Then I take my blue paint for more dark values pinkish color for the lighter parts of the face and the purple color for even more shadows. At this point I'm not liking the face. I find the skin too splotchy, almost as if she's ill. And so I start adding thin layers of paint to try to make the skin tone more uniform. Each time after I've added a layer of paint, I bring back the details with my pastel pencils and also with regular color pencils.
Now I decide to bring out my oil paint sticks. This is real oil paint, but in a stick form, which is easy to work with. They're very rich in color, creamy, and can be smoothed out easily with a rag, a paper towel, or with your fingers for subtle transitions. I also use my oil pastels. These are similar to the oil paint sticks in terms of softness and smoothness, but smaller. Another difference is that the paint sticks will dry completely after some drying time, whereas the oil pastels will always remain a bit greasy and workable on the paper. But that's not a problem here. I use a paper stump when I want to smooth out the color in smaller areas. And by the way, you don't always have to smooth out the oil pastels. You can also leave them as is, which can provide a nice texture. Sometimes I use my pastel pencils in this stage, although they don't always work well over the oil pastel and paint stick. You cannot use your colored pencils over the oil pastels and sticks. Here I'm drawing white lines around the face to accentuate the shape of the profile and suggest a kind of glow around the head. The next day I make some last alterations. And there she is. She seems a bit transparent and glowing with light, coming from within or maybe radiating around her. <laughs> 